Hi, this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. All right, we are making a money lay, so here are our supplies. You do need some double-sided tape, some curling ribbon, and some cash. You can do this in any increments that you like. I am using dollar bills here, and that's a total of 100. Then you need some type of spacers. These are wood beads. You could use the acrylic ones, whatever you like. And then you'll need those small black rubber bands. You can also use the clear ones. Alrighty, to start this out, we need to go ahead and make sure that our dollar bills are all facing the same way. See how that one was going the opposite way? Wanna make sure that we place them all in the same direction. Also wanna make sure that your dollar bills are more on the crisp side. That will help this whole process. Now this video will be split into parts, meaning this is our first part, and this is how we are going to start folding these dollar bills. I'm gonna do this a couple of times because I am making this video for those who are absolutely new to money lay making and this is the spiral lay that we are making today. And basically, you are just attempting to fold this in a fan type motion. As you can see, I fold it first in half. I bring that top part down. Then I fold it up. I'm just trying to be aware that I want them to be about the same measurements. You want them to look as uniform as possible. You're just gonna flip that dollar bill back and forth. Just like you see here. As you can see, I am using like a card, like a gift card or any card that you have. Uh, that helps to make the fold nice and crisp and that's really what you want it. And this is how our first step is, guys. You're gonna have to fold, yes, all $100 bills. All right, our second step. We are going to fold those fans into half from top to bottom. Then we're gonna take those rubber bands and we are going to twist it just twice. And that is it. Again, we're gonna fold that in half from top to bottom. Grabbing our rubber band, we just do that twice. Now we don't need much tension. This is more just to separate the dollar bill. This will all make sense. Follow the steps and you will have no problems with making this lay. Now this lay is very tedious to make. So I would suggest you split it into a couple of days so you're not sitting there for hours. I think this lay probably took me four hours to make and I made two lays with this. Again, you're just folding it in half and adding that rubber band. And this is what it should all look like. This is the completion of our step two. Lots of work, but it ends up so beautiful. Alrighty, this is really tedious. We are going to take our double-sided tape and we only want to use a little bit, guys. You got to think about your graduate actually taking this lay apart to utilize their money. So I take that small amount and I still end up cutting it in half. Now you're going to take your first dollar bill. Make sure it's flush into that corner as you see I showed you right there by pointing at it. I'm going to grab either side. I'm going to pinch it together. Hold it for a few seconds. Grab the other side, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. You just wanna make sure that they're right up against that corner. One more time for those who are, again, this is for beginners with lay making. 
So a little bit of tape, that tape should be good for both sides of those fans. Right up against the tip of that dollar bill. Push them together, pinch the sides, hold it for a few seconds, and do the exact same thing on the other side. Yes, you do have to do this for all $100 or whatever increment that you're doing. You know, it depends on how your length, the length you really want for your lay. So $100 again is for two lays. So that's what it starts out with. And then this is what we want it to end up looking like. All righty, we're getting to the end of this lay making business. You're gonna take your curling ribbon here and you're gonna need something to hold it down. So I am using that iron. That's gonna be the weight. And you wanna cut your ribbon to the length that you want your lay, but I would say do a bunch extra. So you're gonna take either end, you're gonna pull it across that handle of the iron. And I like using the iron because I could push it across the table easily, but it's heavy enough where it's not gonna, you know, fall over. You're gonna take your first bead. We wanna start off with a bead, and of course, whatever bead you use, you wanna take both ends of that curling ribbon and you want to insert that into the bead once that's done you just want to pull it all the way through now these beads um they come in three different shades so i just want to make sure i'm doing it in a pattern now here's the dollar bill notice you have those two slits on either side of that rubber band now we're going to divide or split the curling ribbon. We want to make sure that one goes into one side of the split, the slit. And then the other one is going to go through the other side. So on either side of the rubber band. Try to do close up. Sorry, I'm out of frame on some of this and it does kind of get blurry, but I want it to make sure that this is very clear. I hope some of you actually do make this lay. All the graduates that I have made this for absolutely love it. And you do want to pull it all the way down so that it's flush against that bead. And we're gonna do that over and over again. Now, like I said, the shades, there's three different shades of these beads. So I am trying to make sure that it is a pattern when I place them. It's all up to you, but I like my to look very uniformed. Also, very important that whatever side you start with, you want that consistent throughout the lay. So as you can see, we have it on the back side or on the front side. Whichever way you start with, continue to use that same pattern. Again, when you're pulling the curling ribbon, you want it on either side of that rubber band. Yes, so we do need to do this for the entire lay. Again, guys, it's a process, but it turns out so pretty. There you go. I'm just speeding this up to save you guys some time, but I want you guys to see the process. All right, as you can see here, I'm just kind of showing you we're getting towards the end of it and see how it's all facing, the dollar bills are all facing the same direction. You want this lay to look as uniformed as possible. That's why you want the folds to be nice and crisp and you want them all about the same dimensions. Very pretty. So I am just putting in our final bead here. Again, when you are beading it both curling ribbons go in and then where you are inserting the dollar bills you want to split just like that I would say if you're making this lay uh, $50 would probably be sufficient for one side now we are at the end what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut that ribbon off and I'm gonna tie that just in a simple knot I'm gonna double knot it just to make sure that it's nice and secure 
And again, I would say if you're making one lay, $50 would be more than sufficient for a nice size lay. What I have here is a total of $100. Now I like to curl the ends of this ribbon. Uh, you can go ahead and just cut them all the way off. But these are the two lays that we made with a total of $100. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I do upload three times a week. As always, God bless you.